right, folks, we've reached that part of the show now for Mailbag. Look, if you've got a topic or a question you'd like us to address on the show, you can email us anytime at collidervideo at gmail.com. Now, for those of you watching us live and we're doing this show live, you can tweet to us live right now. Hop on Twitter. Make sure you're following us at Collider Video. Send on in your tweets. And then Ashley, who is our gatekeeper today, will decide whose tweets gets on the show. We'll get to those in just a few minutes. But for now, let's get to the mailbag questions. So, Ashley, what do we got? Josh Tuning writes, hey, guys at Collider. Greetings from Australia. I'm a huge fan and watch every single episode. Thank My you. question I have is, what if the doomsday we've seen in the B versus S trailer number two is just the initial stage? He gets defeated and Lex takes him back to be reincarnated. Would you still feel the trailer showed too much if that happened in the movie? Okay, what you're suggesting, if you look at the comic books, is actually, I mean, this is very different Doomsday from the comic books, but story path-wise, there's some consistency there. Doomsday was created as a genetic experiment who was, like, born, killed, left to evolve, then they take the DNA and regrow it again, let it get killed, let it be grown, and do it thousands, thousands, thousands of times until you get the ultimate survival killing machine in Doomsday. So what you're suggesting, kind of thematically consistent with the comic books, but in asking the question is, if they just defeat him right there and then, and then he comes back bigger and better and stronger, does that make it less of a spoiler giveaway? The thing is, is that for me personally, maybe it's different for you, but for me personally, the spoiler wasn't seeing Doomsday. I mean, almost every movie show us the bad guy in their trailer. Very few don't, but most of them do. So that wasn't the giveaway. The giveaway, the spoiler, the, what, the thing that ruined the trailer for me was the fact that the movie is called Batman versus Superman, and then you show us the part after the part where they are they fought, and now they're on the same team, and you showed that in the trailer. We're not idiots. We all know, you knew, we knew, we all knew that at some point in that movie, Batman and Superman point out or team up because they got to get to Justice League. We understand that, but you don't show it in the trailer. So even if that doomsday gets defeated and then he comes back bigger and better and stronger, that doesn't fix the problem for somebody like me who I did not want to see Batman and Superman done their fight. Christian put it perfectly yesterday. He said showing that scene changed it from a Batman v Superman trailer to a Dawn of Justice trailer. And that was the part that ruined it. So I don't know. Schnapp, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I agree. And especially they showed, you know, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman all like fighting a creature. And then the title, Batman versus Superman, comes up, which <laughs> yeah, is just like, stupid. <laughs> so yeah, that I, if the, I like a lot of the fans uh, yesterday like recut. The trailer, the trailer and yes. cut out the annoying uh, Jesse Eisenberg, like, like the little overacting Lex Luthor stuff, and they cut out that sequence with Wonder Woman and and Batman and Superman as friends, and all of a sudden the trailer was kind of awesome. So I wish that you know whoever was cutting that trailer could be you know someone goes back in time and fires that dude and then releases the, <laughs> the recut version, but it's too late, it's ruined. So uh, yeah, is uh, Doomsday gonna get re smashed and reborn and look more bony and more like Doomsday? Probably not. I don't think they're going to do that. Yeah, I don't think so. And Mark. it's not a matter of just one spoiler. It's just, it's a whole flock of kittens were let out of the bag early by this trailer. The biggest one being them teaming up at the end. But I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? If you're just an average movie fan and you see this, maybe people don't want to see Maybe the studio is worried about people thinking that this whole movie is going to be Batman versus Superman when it's, oh, these are two superheroes. I want them to team up and be on the same team. And maybe that's what they wanted to show. As far as Doomsday goes, I think in the third act, he teams up with Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael <laughs> to go get Shredder. I, I, I love that theory from Australia. I think that's probably the correct one. Is it Doomsday? You send him out on an initial mission. He gets his ass kicked. He comes back. He he evolves. His evolution of that character is so huge in his portrayal in the comic book. So I think that'll transfer to the big screen. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.